ask you a question. What would you do if you found out that John Lennon, John Lennon, had written you a letter? Whoa. Freak out. Mind blown. <laughs> well, in a new movie, we get to see what an aging rocker did with that information. Our entertainment reporter, Jim, is here to talk about Danny Collins. Yeah, and I think that's the very reason that Al Pacino decided to do this role, you know. Uh, we often hear star directors, Spielberg, Steven Spielberg, Ridley Scott, Kenneth Branagh. This young, this young man, Dan Fogelman, he's been called a director on the rise. Uh, he wrote, remember uh, Pixar's Cars? Yeah. yeah. Disney's Tangled. Uh, he produced the ABC series The Neighbors. He uh, directed uh, uh, Barbara Streisand in uh, The Guilt Trip. Crazy Stupid Love, one of your favorite movies. Right. He directed wow. that. So he truly, that's just a little bit of what Dan Fogelman has done. And he's directed uh, Danny Collins as well. Very interesting man to talk to, and we're going to hear a lot about Dan Fogelman. He'll be right up there with the Spielbergs, I believe. And really? He explains a little bit more about the story of Danny Collins. That's the fictitious name, by the way. But here is Dan Fogelman, the director of Danny Collins. I was trying to figure out what I was going to write next, and I came across one of those weird news stories you find on the internet, yeah. and it was about the real guy, Steve Tilston. And in real life, the guy, the real Steve Tilston, is nothing like Danny Collins. He's a wonderful guy. He stayed true to his music for many, many years, but I couldn't stop thinking about what if he hadn't? What if he, <laughs> what if he is a guy who had started out with the best intentions and had gone astray? It's really a what if story. It's a what if story. It, the, the true part of the story is that there is a musician in England who at 20 years old did an interview and John Lennon wrote him a letter advising him and then four decades later he received the letter that was never delivered to him. That's a beautiful, it's, beautiful part of the story. It is yeah. and it's a real what if and it's a real grass is always greener and it's that kind of sliding doors what how could my life have turned out if I had just a couple of things had broken differently. I meant to mention we're doing this interview by the way at the Hilton, the Beverly Hilton, and the Hilton <laughs> is where Danny Collins ends up in yep. New Jersey. It's the, the hotel's kind of a character, agree? It is. The Woodcliffe Lake Hilton, the specific one, is actually the hotel back in New Jersey where I grew up. It's the, the movie is set basically where I grew up. And that's the hotel I went to every bar mitzvah and prom <laughs> and wedding of my youth in. So yeah. yeah. You know, uh, I hope the all the people that give awards, including the Critics' Choice Awards, which I'm a member of the Board of Directors, sure. remembers this performance yeah. uh, by Al Pacino. I mean, it is award-deserving, believe me. That's nice. Thank you. I, I feel so as well. I mean, he's... You know, Al is in many ways my movie star. You know, I'm I'm just turning 40, but you know, I grew up. You know, the the touchstone films for me as a young man growing up were Al's, and it's a movie star performance that Al. Al is an actor first who became a movie star, and I think all the best parts of that are combined here. I mean, he's acting his butt off, but oh. he is also, he's got that charm and humor of a true, true once in a generation movie star, and it's kind of, I think it's all on display. Oh, come in. It's an it's unbolty thing. Hi. Hi. Yeah, so, I got your note. Yeah, so? What do you think? Well, okay. Okay. Pictures from my life as I'm walking down the hall. As I'm walking by, I collect them all. What do you think? Well, you, you're aware that I have no basis in musical knowledge or theory. Okay. Okay, yeah. so you still want my opinion? Of course. Well, I, I think I kind of liked it better the way it was with the leaves. Really? Yeah, the leaves and, yeah. Me too. <laughs> oh. The scenes with Annette Bening and Al Pacino are priceless. I mean, they are unbelievable. And as I, I, I may have mentioned before that this was supposed to open the 1st of March. Now it's almost the middle of April when it's being uh, platformed around the country. It's because they think Pacino has a shot here, is a, a, an, an Oscar. And that performance, yeah. this performance yeah. is so good, you know. Do you agree with that, Jim? I do agree with you that. Do. I, in fact, I complained about that. I said, what are you opening it in March? You know, why not? It should have been the fall yeah. or December for, uh, for Al. But Annette Benning, we're going to have her Friday. Uh, and she plays, as you can see, the hotel manager. Uh, Al Pacino's character decides that he's not going to perform anymore. He's going to write. So he goes to this obscure little 
a Hilton Hotel <laughs> in New Jersey. And of course, Annette is the uh, hotel manager, and the scenes between the two of them are priceless. Well, they he, really are. His character's kind of sweet on her, right? Yes. Yeah, yes, so yes. I oh, love that dynamic. Al goes after her big time, yeah. you know, Danny Collins, yeah. of course. Uh, but uh, uh, on the 10th, when it opens, we'll have one of your favorites, Jennifer Garner. Love Jennifer yeah. Garner. Just yeah. a classy, classy actress. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. I love that. So the 10th is when we're, it's slated the to open? The 10th it opens. And Annette Friday and Jennifer Garner, opening day the 10th. All right. Well, we'll look forward to hearing Annette on Friday. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. And Jim also brought a DVD Blu-ray for you to win Disney's Big Hero 6. Now just visit TucsonMorningBlend.com and click on the contest link to enter.